Okay. So, some of you, by some, I mean one person, has asked for an explanation of the code driving uh, this thing. Do you... So, let me explain it to you a little bit real quick. Click. And to do that, I'm going to make a, bit of, make a tiny modification to the code bit. Code here. Here to make explaining it easier. Bop. Okay, there we go. So if I just run the program, it isn't doing anything, and I press space. It renders a bundle of text. Now, how does it actually do that? Well, it calls a function render all, which performs a loop. Now, this loop basically waits until the, until there aren't any characters that it can render, or until it has gotten to the bottom of the screen. Once either of those conditions are fulfilled, it, it stops, and it stops. And what it does is it renders a line, line sets the x position of the cursor to zero, and then sets, changes the y position of it by one, so that it goes down one line. Pain. Pain. So what does render line do? Well, it goes to a position, changes its x position a bit, picks a random character, 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 friend, uh, character, picks a random color, and then, uh, and pastes it, and like stamps it onto the screen. So, so both of the random color and random character functions are basically a dice roll. Roll right there. Simulate a dice roll so that way you can have shifted odds. Like there's a 90% chance that you're going to get a blank space. Otherwise, you're going to get a random character. Character. There. Like for example, there's a. For example, there's a variable. Com called configuration roll. Set to 50. It uses a 50% chance that. You'll get the alternate color and color, and a fifty percent chance that you'll get the regular color, which is green. So, uh oh, basically, when it renders a line, it sweeps across the screen, rendering, thing, drawing characters, characters, is then once that's done, it it goes, and it sets its s position to zero. It goes over here, but it's down one line, right. Now, whenever it renders a full thing, it actually changes. <laughs> renders the whole thing, it actually changes the brightness. Now, what that does means is that newer layers are visibly brighter than older layers, which is why the text appears to be getting brighter as it runs. So, keep in mind that the, there are a few constants here, like the, like for example, there's a setup function here, which sets that's the brightness. Faintness, alternative color, chance for the alternative color, and the number of characters. In case you're wondering, the reason why is because there is a set number of characters. However, in case you might want to change it so that you aren't using all the characters, like there are 22 characters currently existing within the program, but but occasionally you might want to render using all of those. So say you want to render using just 12 of those characters. Well, now you can. Let's see. And now it's just showing you classical digits, classical Arabic digits, digits, and G's, which these are not actually G's, but you know, whatever. So, uh, this is all for fun. Now, now what happens when you don't have a space between rendering layers? Well, this is what happens. Do, do, do. Dude, so real quick, because Scratch is a game engine, it does have a few options that are a little weird. Like, for example, you can set a function to run without screen refresh. What that actually means is that it doesn't, you know, refresh the screen in each step of the function. It only refreshes before the function is run and immediately afterwards, which means that most of the time it looks like this. Very chaotic. <laughs> 
So yeah, just want that quick explanation of the stuff in this code. Okay, bye.